I want more power. Then come closer. <laughs> It reminded me of you. It's beautiful. Thank you. <gasps> Go away, wolves! Archibald Ulysses Kristoff, you are charged with treason. How do you plead? I plead guilty. We want to raise the Dragon King! We, we want, want them! 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 I always felt that someone else was in the mirror. Another voice simply wanted to be heard in this world. In this world. Let's take a chance and run together through this world. are the key to everything! I got this one! Oh. Whoa, the legendary Lewis! It's Lewis! He's actually real! Hear me, Stratford! The LeBron twins are under my protection! If you attempt to harm them, if you take any action to support Kristoff's doomed plot to raise the Dragon King, I will destroy you! Louis! Leander? You always did know how to make an entrance. It's part of my charm. <laughs> Jay, you're back. You look terrible. I'm okay. Come home with us. I'd love to, but first, Jay needs a healer. And so do I. Jonathan, look who decided to pop in. Louis. The one and only. He showed up just in time to stop us being attacked by a mob. What? A mob? I got you. Lewis was always good at deception. Not deception, perception. I must always be perceived as powerful. Especially when I'm not. Come see me if you want to talk. I will. I went back to Fairy. <gasps> what? I thought it would be different this time, that I would be different. But it wasn't. I wasn't. We're so glad you're safe. Yeah, totally. You're okay. safe here. Is that where you found Lewis? He was in New York looking for you. For us? Why? He wants your help to destroy the Dragon King. He what? We knew the suppression spell you put on Jessa and Misha drained your magic. But we thought you would recover. Oh, yes. That definitely wiped me out. But that was 16 years ago. I've recovered and lost my magic dozens of times since then. Most magic users know they have to always hold some magic in reserve, in case they need it in an emergency. Too bad you didn't follow your own advice. What happened to your magic? I needed it in an emergency. You can destroy the Dragon King? No, I cannot. But the North-South Twins can. What? Uh, absolutely not. So you know about this compass ritual to raise the king? If we're North and South, then what or who is supposed to be East and West? You don't have to worry about them. I've spent years researching and planning, and I've created a spell that will change the auras of the North-South Twins, so your two auras appear to be four auras. North, South, East, and West. If the tomb opens and the Dragon King rises without all four points of the compass, he'll be weak. No, it's too dangerous. It will be dangerous, which is why you have to be prepared. We're ready. You definitely are not. I hadn't planned on trying this until you two were older, fully fledged. But you're stronger than we knew, 
You broke through your spells and Kristoff moved up the timeline, so here we are. You want him taken down? Let us do it! You can't. It has to be the Dragonmark twins. Look, Kristoff is behind bars and the four are no longer hunting you. Nice work, by the way. The escaped Dragonmarked are still out there, but they're no threat without a leader. There's plenty of time for me to recover my strength and for the Warrior Witch here to train you for the task. We can start training tomorrow. I'll think about it. Jessa, what's there to think about? I said I'd think about it. Seems as though your trial didn't play out quite the way you anticipated. How could I have anticipated Lewis? I thought he died years ago. You know, I studied his career. His magic is the stuff of legends. Did you come here to just fangirl over the legendary Lewis? Or did you want something from me? I wanted to talk to you about your daughter, Elda. She has a lot of power to manage at a very confusing time. And you think a fatherly pep talk will get her on the right track? I'd be happy to arrange it. Want to tell me what we're doing out here? We're gonna start training. I said I'd think about it. I know you did. You're worried about your dragon. And you know why. You've had your wolf for years. I've only had mine a few weeks. So maybe you can quit worrying about your dragon and focus on helping me learn to be as good of a wolf shifter as you are? <laughs> you think you can be as good a wolf shifter as me? I don't think. I know. Okay, here's the challenge. We run our wolves until we're exhausted. First one who runs out of magic and has to shift back loses. Deal? Deal. Try and keep up. When we control the human world, you will be free to swim for miles, diving fathoms deep and playing with the dolphins and whales in the white-capped ocean waves. But what about Lewis? He'll fillet anyone who helps you. Whatever you're planning, leave me out of it. Oh, what a waste of time. Knock it off, fish boy. Oh, too bad. You know, you should probably leave before Kristoff comes back. That really was Kristoff! You saw him too! We didn't see Kristoff here. And even if we did, we didn't. Kristoff's escaped! No, he hasn't. We just saw him in the woods near the pond. Impossible! We just saw him! Safely locked up in his holding cell where he belongs. How is Kristoff getting in and out of his cell without being seen? No one's going to believe us unless we have proof. We need to set a trap. Are you ready for this? Absolutely. I was born to play this part. <laughs> <laughs> See you on stage. Dante! Misha! How's it going? There was so much going on, I almost forgot to give you this. Oh, <gasps> From New York? Look, everybody, it's Broadway! Oh, I wish I could see it in person. Forget it, Dante. Trolls are like harpies. We can't leave the boundary because we look weird. You never know, Shan. You heard Kristoff's broadcast. Maybe things will change. Hi. Mom and I wanted to see how you're doing. Thanks, Dottie. I'm fine. <laughs> Why wouldn't I be? Your father has been asking about you. Wouldn't you like to visit him before he's transferred? I don't really have anything to say to him. 
All right. It's your choice. Yufan, wait! I would like to see him before he goes to prison. I think that's best. I'll set it up. Why did you do that? Okay, Daddy Dearest wants to talk. Let's see what he has to say. Elda, my darling child. Darling child? Really? You barely noticed me growing up. Nothing I did was ever good enough for you. Oh, Elda, I underestimated you. You always did. You thought I was worthless because I wasn't dragon marked, because I wasn't a twin. You have your own powers, your own destiny. And now that you've made such powerful new friends, we can help each other. I have enough power to rule the world without you, or your precious Dragon King. <laughs> Whoa! Ah, Kristoff! In the flesh. But you're supposed to be in prison. I mean, you're supposed to be in a holding cell and then you're going to prison, right? I'm not going to supernatural prison. I'm going to the tomb of the Dragon King, and you can come with me. I can? C cool after we raise the Dragon King, we will reveal ourselves to the humans. What a wonderful world it will be for everyone. I could go to New York, uh, see the sights, maybe even be on Broadway? Yes, yes, and yes. And all you have to do is help me capture the Wolf Shifter twins. My help? To capture Jessa and Misha? Jessa and Misha! <laughs> Not that I'm complaining. I love a good workout. But I thought we were going to work on shifting. Fighting in wolf form? We are, and we will. But before you fight as wolves, you need to focus on teamwork. Right. Anticipate each other's moves. Startle them. Throw them off balance. You used full power? Mom said to throw you off balance. <gasps> How can she be so sweet to the dragon marked when she's so angry with everyone else? It's weird, right? But at least someone's being kind to them. She's being really generous with her magic. That doesn't seem like very big magic. It wouldn't be, except the compound is supposed to suppress magic. So where is Elda getting all that extra juice? <laughs> and how is she able to control it? Feeling better? Not really. An honest answer. That's a good start. Found something! <laughs> Misha, stop holding back. Max is strong. You won't hurt him. <laughs> we found the spell! It's prepped and ready to go. Now it just needs some time in the sun to cook. And while Terra's spell is cooking, take a look at this. We found it under the history of escape magic. 500 years ago, a pair of dragon-marked twin girls used magic to escape from their cloister. There was a set of dragon-marked twins before Jessa and Misha? Did you know about them? Yes, of course. In fact, I've been searching for them for years. Why? I wanted their help to raise the Dragon King. What? I thought Dragon Mark twins were evil. They're no more inherently evil than you are. They are Dragon Mark twins, the same as you. And they would have been older and stronger, 
My plan would have had a much better chance of succeeding with them, and I wouldn't have had to endanger children to do it. We are not children, and we're sick of you treating us like we are! I understand I've insulted you both. I apologize. You know, when Kristoff's followers realize we're being protected by a powerless sorcerer, they're gonna come after us. Let them. We're ready. Our wolves are definitely ready. But my dragon isn't. It's okay. We still have time. I don't think we do. Someone's gonna discover Lewis's secret, and if Kristoff stirs up another mob... Our wolves might not be strong enough to stop them. We need to use every weapon, every advantage we can find. It's time to get to know my dragon. Wow! Finally. She's incredible! Go, Jessa! Woohoo! Appearance spell. Someone's using magic to pretend to be Kristoff. Sandra? Sandra's working with Kristoff. She's been using magic to impersonate him. But, but why? To make people think Kristoff is so powerful, no cell could hold him. It's a good recruitment strategy. People want to follow leaders who are powerful, invincible. The Enforcers are coming today to take Kristoff to the Supernatural Prison! If Sandra wants to help him escape, she's gotta do it today! Find Jessa. Tell her free-range Kristoff isn't Kristoff, it's Sandra. On it! Kristoff, you've been working with Santra. Santra Kubari has been impersonating Kristoff, doing his dirty work, recruiting students to serve the Dragon King. <laughs> you think you figured it out, foolish child. Kristoff was never in custody. <laughs> it was always me, pretending to be Kristoff. But why let yourself be locked up? And how did you get in and out of the cell? And where is the real Kristoff? Wasted seconds, wasted minutes In a life where I kept drifting All way, all day, I could feel a hole in me It was you, and the clock kept ticking Cause we were lost in the distance And my past did fall in this Yeah, we felt the other missing <laughs> 